Whilst I was recording gameplay for this video and recapturing the moments I had on Fallout 4, I realised that the plot of Fallout 4 doesn't make as much sense as I thought it did when I played the game in the, f in the first like the first playthrough. And I'm going to explain why and if the Fallout 4 plotline even makes sense. So let's just get into it. So the first point that I was aware of when going back through this gameplay footage and just my gameplay of Fallout 4 in general from the start to this point was that my son should be dead. Now, I know that sounds a bit barbaric and a bit uh, pessimistic, but let's be honest. Your character, the Vault Dweller, has been cryogenically frozen for 200 years, which in itself is an amazing accomplishment by Volta. I don't know how they managed to do that. And your wife gets killed whilst being, well, she gets killed and then frozen to death, pretty much. Well, she's shot and then she's frozen, so yeah. And your son gets kidnapped, son Sean. And you wake up 200 years later and obviously you believe that your son's still alive but when you find out the reality that your son like you've been alive for 200 years why does the character still believe his son's out there like i know it's a dad thing to do you know because obviously he wants to believe that his son's still out there and whatnot and i'm glad that he is still out there in the game but realistically from a biological standpoint no one ever should be able to live beyond 200 years now i know this is nitpicking because oh it's, it's just a video game you're not meant to be realistic but this is what would happen in an actual like setting of nuclear fallout like even in a game they've got to understand the rules of humanity here like no one should be able to live for 200 years and how convenient that the moment you wake up out of the wasteland and do everything you need to do by the time you get there your son is older than you bear in mind just your, your son is older than you and you are the father your son's older than you and he's about to die from cancer i i don't know if that's a mishap in the fallout like in fallout 4 in the game or something that Bethesda purposely put in but in the time that you're out here joining the brotherhood of steel uh, the Minutemen, the ro Railroad, and doing all their missions and stuff. Your son's out there making robots that don't even have human capacities. Like, they're meant to reflect human emotions, but they don't do it very well. And then they try and fool you by making a simp version of your son, Sean, uh, who is actually the leader of the Institute. Um, well, the real version is the simp is still ten year old, is a 10-year-old boy. And you believe that he's the one that you've been looking for you know because he you know he is a child and the main anti the protagonist even yeah, not main antagonist that's the enemy the main protagonist believes that that's sean because there's no way that he would believe that sean is older than him and is leading the institute given that in the game especially in the brotherhood of steel if you choose to go that way uh paladin dance rem uh, informs you that the synths and the institute are bad people they're doing bad things to humanity and then that all changes when you go to find your son and he is the leader of this so-called cult group who's just replacing humans with robots and killing every last of human every last stroke of humanity out there but how can your son still be alive that's the question i don't get and how does the idea of you being a war soldier even like come to life like obviously War never changes is like the main point of the thing here. Like even after war, there's a still more war here. There's still like an aftermath of war and all that. But you are a soldier, and you come back and you join soldiers to be like a part of an army. And then you find your son, and then the whole game just changes from there. Like, my, my main point is that Fallout 4 necessarily does not make sense in terms of plot because there's no way you sh you can be alive. Well, I don't know about the cryogenic uh, aspect of this because I don't know anything about science. I'm not a scientist, but I know you can freeze cells and, that, and uh, you can stabilise them, if that makes sense. But in terms of Sean, you can't cryogenically freeze a child, I don't think. I don't think their cells are strong enough to 
we'll take the the impact of the coldness <laughs> but Sean shouldn't be alive I mean I know it sounds a bit harsh but Sean dies moments after you meet him after 200 years I don't know how he's even alive for 200 years unless Kellogg may have frozen him or may have given him like a serum or something but I know I'm nitpicking because it's for it's a fallout game and it doesn't make sense but at, at the end of the day it kind of annoyed me when I was playing this game like I was joining joining the Brotherhood of Steel and I thought in the back of my head I'm meant to be finding my son here and instead I'm joining armies and whatever but too far you didn't need to join the armies to actually find your son but when you do find your son he uh, unfortunately does die moments after you meet him and you get to le carry on with his legacy if you wish to but I don't know but then did they Fallout 4 is a great game I like Fallout 4 and I was Really excited for Fallout 76 because I thought it was going to take a, a, the same style to Fallout 4 with the single player thing. Um, but they did an online f mode and it was pretty good. They f carried on doing what they do best, creating a wasteland. But at least the plot makes a little sense in Fallout 4. Like I know the whole point is for you to find your son Sean and join armies and join factions and get all these new weapons and claim settlements, try and rebuild the world like the Minutemen are trying to do. But just thinking realistically here the plot of Fallout 4 does not make sense but to conclude I think that for a video game perspective the the plot does make sense but if we're being realistic it technically shouldn't make sense but at the end of the day I know people who well if people even care that much about this video they'll be like oh Carl you're just making a whole fuss out of this because you know it's a Fallout game it's not meant to make sense because it's it's delving into the possibilities of what could happen in nuclear war like we could be strong enough in the future to have this sort of technology and have flying cars and stuff and then we use it for our own gain like sean did and with the sims you know trying to make a better place but at the end of the day fallout 4 is still a great game even after you find sean you can still have a lot of fun with it i've had a lot of fun with this game i've played like 70, 70 odd levels or 70,000 I've gone like through 70 levels I've even created a new character just for this video and I'm still playing with him now but um, yeah so if you did enjoy this video be sure to leave a like let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below if you do decide to comment I've been kind of getting some music this is it whether or not Fallout 4's plot makes sense or not hope you guys did enjoy if you did be sure to leave a like and etc subscribe if you're new turn the notifications on and I'll see you guys in my next video bye for now